Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm putting out a quick video today about uh, your next love situation. I'm using the Lights Years Tarot from Chris Ann. Um, I am also going to pull cards from the Love and Romance Journey deck from Queen Sugar Tarot, the Soul Reflections Love Oracle, the Hermit Tarot Channeled Love Messages from the Hermit Tarot, and then Love Vibes from King of Aloha. So today this is going to be like your next love situation. So we're going to get cards on them. So let's get some cards about uh, your next love situation or the person who is your next love situation. Six of Swords. This is about the person. Seven of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, the lovers. Let me get one more card about your person. One more card about your person. And the higher file. Okay. I mean, this person is most definitely looking for a true love um, connection with you. The, the higher font is a higher level commitment, um, marriage, usually someone you're very spiritually connected to. The lovers is also like true love soulmate energy um, and marriage to me. So I feel like uh, you and this person will get married or this is what this person is looking for is a marriage. Uh, that's what they want to offer you. That's what they want out of life is marriage. I feel like this person um, is definitely moving away from a situation uh, that was complicated. So whether or not that's like ending a, a marriage, ending a relationship, walking away from a job, moving away from some toxic people in their life. I mean, there could be lots of things that they're moving away from. But the Six of Swords is the energy of like moving on to calmer water. So I see your person that's coming towards you in love. That's going to be your next love situation or whatever it looks like forever situation with the higher font there. But um, this person is, is moving away from something that's been challenging, something that's been difficult. Um, and they're moving towards much calmer waters. I feel like... Um, I'm, sometimes this this card can mean a couple of different things, right? It can be a wish fulfillment. Um, it can be lots of options or choices. It can represent confusion. It can also represent dreaming. Um, I feel like this person um, may know who you are. They may be dreaming of you. Maybe. I guess we'll have to wait till we get some other cards. But I definitely feel like this person um, has been making a lot of difficult choices. I feel like they're making choices to move along and they want a fresh, stable, committed, grounded start. So I feel like this person is actually um, in a good place. I feel like they've come out of potential chaos and they're coming towards you. Um, they want a new, stable, committed, grounded, loyal start. They're not like the kind that just necessarily, it's not like the Knight of Wands energy coming out, like a player energy. This person wants true love. This person wants a higher level commitment. I think that's pretty amazing. All right, let's get some cards about, so this is your person. Let's get some cards about how are you gonna feel? How are you gonna feel, the viewer, about this person? We'll say initially, but how are you gonna feel? Or initially, we'll do both, like we'll combine them together. What are your feelings gonna be for this person? Queen of Cups. All right. You're going to have lots and lots of love for this person. Mm, I like it. Ace of Swords. Eight of Cups. Oops. Death and Rebirth. And the King of Cups. Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You guys, you are, this is going to be a, a, an extremely awesome connection. We have the King and Queen of Cups popping up on how you're going to feel about this person. You're going to feel like this is your soulmate as well. Um, I feel like this person's going to feel the same way about you. You guys are going to feel like kindred, kindred spirits, um, soulmates, potentially twin flames. I feel like you are going to have an instant connection if you don't already know this person. Uh, your person could potentially be a water sign but doesn't have to. In this row, we have the King and Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, which are all water signs. And then we also have um, the Death card, which is Scorpio, and then Ace of Swords, which is uh, air signs. But I feel like you are gonna feel so connected to this person, like they're the yin, yin to your yang, yin to your yang, um, that this person kind of completes you. Not that you have to be with somebody to be complete, you're complete by yourself, but this person, is going to fit like in all your ways. You guys are going to fit together. 
uh, it's going to be like a matched pair. I think there's going to be no repelling, I don't feel like. Um, lots of compassion, lots of empathy, lots of sympathy, lots of love, lots of nurturing and caring kind of energy. Um, you're going to have complete clarity on this person. I feel like uh, you, you are going to recognize this person and know this is your person. Uh, interestingly, we have the Eight of Cups and the Scorpio, or the Death card. So this could be someone potentially that you walked away from previously. Um, and that there's going to be a new cycle in love. This is kind of what I pick out with this, this card. Or... Um, for some of you, it's not necessarily someone you know, but it could be you're doing something kind of similar that they have. You're walking away from a situation towards your true love. But to me, this was asking about your feelings. So I feel like you're going to feel like this person is your true love. You're, you're moving away from something to go towards the sun card, which is the most positive card in the deck. Um, and this is a new cycle for you, regardless if this is a person returning or not. I might pull a card or two on that because I feel like I want to know if this is a new or old person. Um, but the person definitely wants a new start with you with that Ace of Pentacles. And, and there's so much passion here with the Ace of Wands. This is the magic stick. This is passion. This is intense energy. This is good humor, creativity, laughter. I feel like lots and lots of passion and fun um, is how you're going to feel about this situation. Um, give me a card. Give me some cards about how the viewer will know who this person is. So this row should tell me if um, this is a, re a return of somebody. How will this person, how will the viewer know who this person is? Temperance. Three of Swords. Eight of Wands. Two of Wands. And the Star card. You're going to know this is your person because it's your wish fulfillment. It is the person that fills your dreams. It's the person you've been waiting for. Temperance is like waiting for God's timing, God's plan. You have been very patiently waiting for this person. Um, I do feel like it's potentially someone that you have had an ending with before. I do feel like you might know who this person is. Um, they are going to come towards you and there's going to be so much communication. Eight of Wands is rapid forward communication. I feel like they're going to want to tell you lots of things. They're going to want to explain everything. I feel like a lot has happened since you guys have connected previously. Um, and then there's the Two of Wands. So they could potentially be traveling towards you. You could be traveling towards them. You guys could decide to travel together or have to travel together. But I feel like um, this is more indicative of... Um, someone who has picked a path and made a choice, right? So I feel like um, previously there was some energy of grief and loss uh, between you and this person, whether it was a relationship that ended and came back around, a friendship that ended and came back around. You know, sometimes I feel like friendships or relationships pause. Um, and it's not like anything ever really happens. It's just like time kind of gets away from us and we, you know, we don't keep in touch. So then there's like a pause or a break for a while. That creates some sadness, but it's not like there's any harm that was done. Um, but grief and loss. But this person's going to do a lot of communicating. So I feel like this is who you've been waiting for. So if you had a person in mind, I feel like this is the person. The person you were thinking of when you came to this video or started to think of when you um, watched this video, started watching this video. I feel like this is who is coming towards you. All right. Like, let's see. Let's see. Um, what actions is this person going to take towards the viewer? Which a What actions is this person going to take towards the viewer? Six of Cups, they're coming back. And they're coming back with, um, like, nostalgic feelings. They're coming back with um, memories. They're coming back with good times. They're coming back... Um, ready. They're, so they're coming back with like very nostalgic feelings, right? Like I said, they're going to be speaking about good times, good memories, things that they have that you guys have shared together. Um, uh, warm, fuzzy feelings they have for you. Excuse me. They're, they're willing and ready to fight. Um, the five of wands is a card of competition, sometimes conflict, but I feel like this is more, they're going to fight for you. Um, they're going to fight for you. They're going to, um, they're going to apologize or amend their ways or speak to where they were having wrongdoings. They've done a complete self-evaluation of themselves. They've recognized their, the error of their ways. They've recognized 
poor choices that they made. They're willing to admit poor choices. So this person has definitely kind of done like a lot of cleansing, a lot of growing, a lot of um, learning, um, maturing, and they're ready to fight for you. They're not gonna. They're not gonna walk away easily, guys. They want to offer you this Ten of Cups energy. They want to offer a marriage. I feel like they're gonna propose to you, not necessarily like as soon as you meet, but this person wants true love with you. They feel true love with you. They feel like your soulmates. They feel like they want marriage with you. Um, this is like the happily ever after card. So in terms of what actions are they gonna take with the Ten of Cups? They're gonna offer you lots of love. They're gonna offer you things um and i feel like it's going to be in the way that you receive love as well it's not just going to be how they give love it's going to be really intentional because you guys are the king and queen of cups that um they're going to be able to speak and feed your love language and they're going to want to do that um without like um what is it like without i can't think of the word i want to use but they're not gonna they're gonna be fine with giving you love and your love language. They're, oh, they're not going to be resentful about it at all. And then we have the Knight of Wands. I feel like they're going to come in with um, lots of fun, lots of laughter. The Knight of Wands sometimes is like a player card. They might come in quite passionate, but this person I feel like um, knows you and knows your limits, but they're going to be playful. They're going to, it's going to be fun. It's going to be adventurous. Um, I feel like flirty potentially like this person's going to have a great sense of humor. So I feel like they're coming in with a lot of positive energy, um, energy of love, energy of fun, um, energy of commitment, energy of, um, like being accountable for their previous actions. Give me some outcome cards. What's going to be the outcome between this connection? The Nine of Pentacles. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Swords. I almost didn't take those cards either. The Eight of Pentacles, okay. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person, this person's gonna be willing to fight. Um, this person um, is going to, we have on the bottom of the deck, we have the Wounded Warrior. We have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Sun card. So I feel like this person is like not gonna give up. This person is gonna work and do whatever they need to do to prove to you that they have like changed or they, that they're ready or that this can work. They're going to be putting in a lot of energy. They've been wounded, right? But they're not giving up. It's a slow and steady process, but they see you as their true love and their happiness and their joy. I feel like you feel the same way about this person. I do think it's going to take some time. This is not going to be like they come in and then you guys get married within like six months. It's going to be a longer process. Um, I feel like the outcome is good. It is going to be a good outcome. Um, I feel like nine of pentacles here is eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles. We also have seven, eight, nine, and then two tens. So it's going to be a progression. But I feel like um, the outcome, this is going to be stable. This is going to be grounded. This is going to be balanced. This is going to be committed. Um, I know the nine of pentacles often is... Um, like a focus on self, but I feel like this is really representative of someone really working on themselves to make this connection work. I feel like they are ready to put the hard work in. They are ready to be a team player. They, they feel you are their soulmate. They are willing and ready to put in any kind of work that it's going to take. I do feel like um, we have lies and deceptions here, but I feel like it's going to be more like uh, and Wheel of Fortune right before that. So I feel like the, the Wheel of Fortune is turning, fate is turning, karma is has been kind of laid out, and this person is going to be completely honest. Um, they're done with being dishonest, which I think in this case it was more just like hiding their true feelings. Um, I feel like they are ready to kind of open everything up. They're going to put down all the burdens that they have, all the things that they had done wrong previously, and just kind of like really attempt to wipe the slate clean. Um, this person is just not giving up on you though. Uh, they, the slow and steady piece might be your resistance, but this is going to be a really joyful, positive, successful connection between the two of you. Which I like for you. I like it. All right, let's get some Queen Sugar Tarot cards, the Love and Romance Journey cards. Dreams and Illusions, which again is 
Oh, see, I just did another read and the moon card came up. You guys check out the read on TikTok that I posted because it's kind of similar. I feel like this person's going to be exposing all their truths to you. Reflection, independence, yep, which is judgment. We have the judgment card here, which is like reflection. Independence, which is the nine of pentacles. Blind spot, which is the two of swords, winter, and child. Yeah, so I feel like this person is really, um, they have really been going through it. Like they might have been sitting in like this blind spot energy, right? Like not knowing what to do, not which, knowing which path to cross, not knowing what steps to take. But they're doing so much reflection. They're working on themselves. They're doing the judgment, right? They're, um, they're building themselves up, getting themselves financially stable, emotionally stable. They want to tell you all the things that are true. Um, they want to reveal everything to you. They want to um, speak their hidden truths. This is coming in the winter, guys, which is like in a few days. It's going to be winter. Mm, a few weeks and then we have child here so you might have a child they might have a child you guys might have a child together or again this could be representative of the sun card right um which has got a, a child on it and could potentially be a baby but i do feel like this is all going to come out and you're going to be extremely happy i really feel like you're going to be um excited about what this person has to to bring to you and it says winter. So if you're looking for a timeline, that's like a couple weeks away. All right. This is the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. We have cleanse, release what no longer serves you. We have no. We have date night. We have open for love. And then, and then we have happy, happy ever after. So again, the Ten of, ten of Cups energy. Um, bottom of the deck, we have choose love. The past returns, perhaps, perhaps an ex-lover or a past life, and then divine protection, worth the wait. So I feel like this is a situation that's been a long time coming. It's divinely protected. The past will be returning. You will choose love. Um, but I do feel like uh, you and them both need to go through this cleansing. I feel like you, you both need to heal from whatever issues you've had previously and I feel like maybe that's part of the hold up too it's going to take you a while to like really see if this person's going to put their money where their mouth is um I feel like initially you could potentially say no like no I don't really been there done that um but I feel like things are going to start off slow like date nights you're going to become open to love you're, it's going to be happily ever after because you're going to choose love happy ever after, which is marriage, marriage again. All right. So um, now I'm going to pull some cards from the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. Um, sometimes uh, message cards are really significant and someone's like that totally validated the whole read. And sometimes they don't really make sense to the read. So just keep that in mind when this message cards in the next two decks come out. Um, but I do feel like, um, just keep in mind, it's not necessarily conversations between the two of you. It could be, but it could also be something you said to them um, said about them, someone said to you, um, it could be just anything, um, that's been stated from you that you're aware of. Like you can say, oh my gosh, that's what I say all the time. Or that's what I describe this situation as. There's going to be some kind of connection. Um, I want to get you drunk. <laughs> this could be their future comments to you. I worry about us a lot. I'm open to compromise. Oops. Have I lost everything? And you already know. Bottom of the deck says, listen to your heart. I have so much desire for you. I want you. Strength, ego. Um, so this person could potentially be a Leo. That's a Leo card. I want you. I have so much desire for you. Listen to your heart. So I want to get you drunk. Is 15. I worry about us a lot is seven. I'm open to compromise a two. Um, have I lost everything? A nine. Oops. And you already know. So, um, you know, maybe you were thinking of something. It's like you already know. But the numbers that could be significant uh, definitely are one, eight, nine, two, seven, and 15. So those numbers could be specific for you somebody's birthday, somebody's phone number. Ah, 
on these cards. I didn't mean to tell you what it was. This is the Love Vibe deck, Love Vibe deck from King of Aloha. We're going to get some messages, and that same little like disclaimer that I stated about messages is the same for this deck. All right, so let's see what we got. We have, I just, I'm just playing the field right now. I only see this as a friends with benefits connection. I feel like that could have been like a past energy. Maybe you thought that too. I see myself having kids with you. You're my ideal type. I will wait for you forever. I'm serious about this. And I don't think I'm good enough for you. So those might resonate with you guys. Um, if they do, uh, take them. If they don't, just let it go. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And until the next time, guys, take care. Thanks so much.